Hello everyone, welcome back to My Roll My Way, perfect political podcast ever, every single morning. So first of all, I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday. I only have reason for not uploading, and this one's a very stupid response. I just simply forgot to. Now you guys can ridicule me, and I'm fine with that. I get you guys like these, but I'm going to give you guys two, or I may make this episode actually a little bit longer. Well, no, I'm going to go do two because I don't think you guys really want a long podcast episode. But I'm sorry, I forgot. I hope everyone else had a good Sunday. I do upload on Saturdays, not Sunday. No politics on Sunday. So what are we talking about today? Well, this topic episode is just going to be a real, uh, just like some update information on some stories we've been talking about lately. Like, for example, last week we were talking about Hunter Biden's text messages, racial slur to one of his lawyers. So now we have more information, but first, you guys have to realize why the Democrats are not talking about this. It's because they don't believe Hunter Biden's computer is real. I don't mean like that, like, oh, we know it exists, but we're denying it. They deny the fact, they don't even think there's this computer somewhere sitting in some FBI office. They just don't. Hunter Biden never had a computer. That's what they say. You never hear any of this from CNN, ABC, all those mainstream media, unless it's Sox News, you'll hear a lot about it. But why won't they admit this? What if they're like, yeah, I mean, the evidence on it, we, we think it's false, but we know this computer exists. Why aren't they saying that? Because this computer doesn't fit their narrative. They think their narrative is, oh, Donald Trump, orange man bad. He colluded with Russia so he can win the presidency and destroy democracy. But he didn't. If this was John Jr.'s computer, they, they would be going, hmm, hmm, oh, look at this, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Donald Trump's a bad person. But since it's Hunter Biden, who is Joe Biden's son, they're going to forget about it. And that's the problem. They won't even admit that this computer exists. So the only way you're going to hear about this is from conservatives. I mean, they'll talk about it for a little bit, but it's not like a major issue. Now, you may be sitting at home saying, well, why should I worry about this computer? What is it, just emails from Hunter Biden? Just some weird stuff he's done? Well, no, not exactly. This computer has information that proves that the Bidens colluded with with the Russian government in Ukraine and colluded with China. It proves that Hunter Biden is an avid crack smoker and also proves that he said some no-no words to some of his lawyers. This is all stuff that could possibly destroy the Bidens' reputation and and get them out of politics in that business forever. So they won't admit it that it exists. Because Joe Biden's a good guy. He came to save democracy. Ice cream man is very good. You know. It gets even to the point where CNN had a 51 second video of Joe Biden just eating ice cream. I'm also disappointed that I'm actually saying that there's a 51 second video on the internet of Joe Biden ice cream from a major news media. But anyway, that was off topic. But this computer will destroy the Joe Bidens and the Bidens and whoever is related to them. That's why they will never talk about this until they're forced to talk about this. Again, why am I talking about this? This just proves the media selects news. If the media was unbiased, they would be talking about this. And they would be talking about the Trumps. Now, if this was Trump or one of his uh, children's computer, it would be all over the place. The gates of hell would open up again. I mean, Twitter and YouTube. And it would be all over the place. Orange man bad. Look at all this information. Grr. But since it's Hunter Biden, 
and relating to Joe Biden, you're not going to talk about that. And that's the problem. You should always look around for your news sources. Make sure they're reliable. The CNN trusts the onion. So, yeah. I just wanted to make this video. Just update you guys on what's going on with Hunter Biden. Since it's a major topic that we need to be talking about. Well, I'm going to make another video today. Goodbye.